The Feast of the Seven Fishes is a holiday tradition on Christmas Eve, which makes December 23rd one of Coleman's fish market's busiest days of the year. A motocross race was held in Caddis for riders to learn a few new tricks while on the track. The vintage hydroplane exhibition runs kicked off in New Martinsville. Here they come, flying down the Ohio River at around 100 miles per hour, racing in the exhibition run. 42 boats participated in seven different classes. World record holders come here to catch up with old friends and have fun on the water. Johnny McLean and Patrick Obeyed drove 14 hours from New Hampshire. From the winter storms, the Omicron variant and ongoing supply chain issues, grocery store shelves across the country are looking a bit empty, including some in the Ohio Valley. A services committee meeting was held Monday night, and one thing that was brought up by residents was radioactive waste concerns. Martins Ferry Council members hearing from other board members in the city and listening to residents. Many there to voice concerns on the Austin Masters Services Facility and the processing of hazardous material. The Department of Veteran Affairs gives upon request a headstone to those veterans that are deceased at no charge, with one veteran located right here in Wheeling getting his 120 years after his death. The city of Cameron was hit hard last night with some of the worst flooding it's seen in years. It came down heavy and fast. Rain in Cameron poured for hours on Monday afternoon, causing the water to overflow from the creek to the streets and into people's homes, including Nicole Bryan's basement. News 9's Claire O'Neill is live now and has more on one line that broke this morning. Claire, good evening. Thanks, Dylan. Three water line breaks occurred this week in the village of Bel Air, with a third happening this morning on 33rd and Franklin Street, leaving some residents in the area earlier without water. A food giveaway took place today in Bethesda thanks to the Union Local Marching Band. Prepare a meal, give a meal. That's what the Union Local Marching Band is doing on New Year's Day. Their service project and fundraiser, March It Forward, started on New Year's in 2020, aimed to aggregate and pass along acts of kindness. Whether you're a skier or snowboarder, the Winter Sports Complex at Ogilvy is back and open for business. The Nutting Winter Sports Complex at Ogilvy had a packed parking lot tonight, filled with eager skiers and snowboarders ready to hit the slopes for the first time in almost a year. I've been dying to come out and snowboard for a while. The first day open, it feels good too. Feels good to be back. Yeah. As the Steubenville Nutcracker Village wraps up its final days for the holiday season, the vendors are looking back on their time spent there for their businesses. If you are a resident of Cameron and still need any assistance, the mayor suggests calling City Hall. Reporting in Marshall County, I'm Claire O'Neill, News 9.